Welcome back to the channel guys. Glad you could make it. Thanks for joining me. First of all, I must thank all the people who have subscribed, all the new subscribers. Thank you very much. You are helping to grow this channel. And most of the people who actually watch this channel really haven't subscribed. And let's, let's face it, it's really not, uh, it, it doesn't cost anything. It's actually totally free. So if you just hit that subscribe button, that will help me out. And it will also help you to get the next video that I put out. Because when you subscribe, then you get the videos, you get notifications of the videos that I send out and of course if you like my content then of course the, you will get notified of it if you definitely want to be notified however I would suggest that you hit the notification bell and uh, that means that YouTube will definitely notify you whenever I put out a new video or if I go live or if I have an event you will also get that notification so again guys thanks for watching and we're gonna get right into the video this video is a request from a viewer and um, what the viewer wanted me to do uh, is to give them some idea of what an, an open concept three bedroom um, living dining you know the usual uh, could look like so what I did I did two concepts and one is the is a square mostly rectangular concept and the other is what I like to call an L-shaped concept now it's L-shaped in that the open concept living dining and kitchen kitchen is L-shaped and the design of the building is also L-shaped. The overall dimension of the building will be essentially around 40 by 38. It will be a little more depending on the sort of blocks that you use and the sort of building materials that you use and so on. But the overall dimension is going to be 40 by 38. Now you're going to have two bedrooms that are going to be 12 by 12 and the bathroom that supplies those two bedrooms rooms is going to be eight by six now the master bedroom the the request was that it be 12 by 17 and we have done that with a little bit of a caveat and the master bedroom in fact does come with its own master bathroom so and a walk-in closet which essentially makes that entire area your master suite now to begin here we will start with both the too small what would essentially be either be guest bedrooms or bedrooms for the kids so those would be on one side and I put those on one side of the um, the open concept and of course the master suite is on the other side and this is for privacy purposes now if you look right here you'll notice we have one uh, a window over on this side and there can be no other window in this design because of course there are the walls here and here all about the living space and the kitchen area now the bathroom sits in between here and so you have one bedroom which is 12 by 12 here and the bathroom which sits in between both of these and you have the other bedroom on the other side of the bathroom and that affords you a certain amount of privacy so there is a bit of the bathroom provides a certain amount of soundproofing between these two bedrooms now the bathroom itself is eight feet by six feet and uh, it's accessed via this little uh, pseudo corridor which is a very small corridor and what this does is uh, prevent you from anyone from simply looking directly into your bathroom and into your bedroom so you are going to have your doors here and here access on this side and of course you have this in this area right here you which is a small corridor in designing things like this consideration has to be given to furniture and uh, the this area here this small corridor needs to be wide enough so that fairly large pieces of furniture that cannot be broken down can be brought into these into both these rooms right here you know things like a large wardrobe or a dresser or a chest of drawers that sort of thing that can't be broken down that, that is usually ordered in a large piece so you need to have 
with these areas here being wide enough so that your furniture can get into here and this is an issue many many times when people try to make a small economic space these are things that they tend to neglect or sometimes forget or don't quite realize until the design or the construction is complete and then they realize there is a small issue of furniture getting into these areas in fact you may even want to think about the first thing that you may want to put in here which is a bath which is usually around six feet long or a little less than that and if that can't go in then nothing else will be able to go in trust me on that no the kitchen area as i said the, the open this is an l-shaped design and there are two l-shape in this design the first one is going to be the kitchen slash dining room slash living room and the kitchen is essentially around the corner which affords a certain amount of semi-privacy but at the same time it is still an open concept so you'll still have you go around this area here and you come down here now in this area here here my recommendation would be your dining area and of course in this area here would be your living area so your couches your your television you know music all that sort of thing general things that people generally use in day-to-day -day living now if we go right back up here in a bit around in this area would be the kitchen area so basically what would happen in in a, in a kitchen area such as this you would have your cub your counter space being along this area here and somewhere along this area going around here where my little cross is going here on this side you would have uh, cupboards either you know your shallow cupboards so what that would afford is a large space in here that would get you what they like to call your triangle area where if you stand in the middle right here you'd be able to generally able to reach your stove your sink and your fridge with one or two steps and that is the basic idea so that makes it a very efficient kitchen and at the same time two people could stand in there and do kitchen stuff without getting in each other's way now as you can see here's a little bit of an extension somewhere around here and that is around about two feet and that is there just in case you would want to have a very small breakfast nook um, so you could have a small breakfast table sitting right here and one stool that is it of course with this being here you could simply just extend some parts of your kitchen cupboards here perhaps put if you needed to to say put an extra freezer small freezer somewhere along these lines here stick your large standing fridge somewhere in this area here and you have all this cupboard space for all your small appliances your coffee maker your fryer all those things that people generally have a microwave and all that sort of thing and of course you have two windows which would afford you a certain amount of cross breeze if you decide to have them being windows that would open outwards now coming along right here along this area here as i said you could have your dining table in this basic area so and of course you have an your rear exit door along right here and then as I said coming down now this would be your living area where you would have general living area stuff and this is your front door now moving along to the master suite um, as you can see here this is this this entire area is 17 by 12 and you have your bathroom over here which is 12 by 6 and in this area would be your walk-in closet and here we have a little bit of a nook right here now this nook you can it can be used for many different things in fact um it being your master suite my suggestion would be to have a little bit of a day bed right here something you can lounge on or a nice um, lounge chair you get up in the morning the sun is shining through your window right here you sit right here and you know husband 
go and get your coffee and bring it to you and you sit and you all sit down and enjoy the nice tropical sunshine as it is. Now, the fact that this is coming directly off the living room, you can see what I have done here is to give you a, a small, a full corridor. Not a full corridor, just small. And what that does is give you a small, a certain amount of privacy so that your door, your entranceway to your living quarters is not directly visible from the living space. Now, the living space is 12 by 17 overall and your bathroom is 6 by 12 and so you have a large enough space to put your queen size bed um, king size bed whatever size bed you want to have in here plus all your furniture and of course it is large enough to have a small closet or um, or chest of drawers and that sort of thing um, because of course it's being the master bedroom it is going to ne be necessary to have a chest of drawers with your mirrors and all that inside of this area right here now you're going to have your walk-in closet so you, there is really no necessity to have a closet inside here but it is big enough to have a small one if you so, so choose now Along right here, you can have, say along this area here, you can have your hanging closets. So shirts, um, pants, you know, folded racks, all that sort of thing. Um, your slanted racks that you could have, say your dress, your dress pants and so on folded and in their respective areas. And over on this side, behind, beside the door, you could have your shoe rack from floor to ceiling. Because of course, you know, we all have our little vices now over to your bathroom here your bathroom is big enough to have a standalone bath you know, something like a french bath or you can have an, a nice long a six um, foot bath along one side here and it is also big enough to have a an enclosed toilet and of course all your counter spaces and your storage spaces for your linen and whatever else that you need for your toiletries and so on for your bathroom now we are going to take an overall view of the design and and talk about it from an overall perspective the reason i suggested a an l-shaped design is mainly based on aesthetics now this area here would be the front of your building and if your building is an l-shaped design such as this you can have a nice a small lawn along this area right here because of course, you know, your entrance way, of course, a nice entrance way going directly to your front door. So you could have grass, you can have um, small fruit trees and, uh, you know, nicely manicured. Also, with this design, you can add a garage, a small single car garage along right here. And let me just do that real quickly to show you what I mean by that. Now here you are right here, you could just add a single car garage there. They hit it right there. And in this area right here would be your single car garage. Now, with that being said, um, you could also add a patio. So with this area right here, you, which of course, by the way, I should have mentioned, my suggestion is that a design such as this should be raised from the ground, um, the equivalent of about two stairs up, so two steps, uh, or in our Jamaican parlor, we would say um, two block heights minimum off the ground and uh, so of course your garage would then be two block heights down it does a number of things firstly the first one is that it raises your floor area from being directly on ground level and what that prevents is your floor to get soaked because generally your floor is going to be concrete and concrete is porous so 
it raises your floor level above what would be the water line so in case of a heavy rain or you know just general speaking your you um, groundwater will not impact your your floor that is the first thing the second thing is that it is way more aesthetically pleasing to have a small step up from the ground instead of having your house being flat on the ground at uh, the entrance to your house being flat on the ground at ground level anyway so here we are what we would do at that two step up we would have a patio or what we like to call a veranda in Jamaica and that would run along this area right here so this area shit this area in here would then become your patio area so give me a second while I well we're gonna let just keep that right there so this area right here would then become your patio area and of course you you know it would be covered now if we should go around the back right here and we haven't mentioned anything about storage yet so you are always going to need storage and the the person who asked for this told me directly that they were in the country area st mary if i recall correctly and so you're going to need some sort of storage because if you're going to be retiring to jamaica or just building your house in jamaica you're going to be doing a little bit of yard work outside i'm sure you're going to have your machete your fork your hoe um all your ground implements and all of that sort of thing you're going to need somewhere to store them and it is nice to have somewhere that is organized so you could in fact just stick a nice shed or a nice extension right here and that is just six feet and you stick it along right here somewhere along here and Bring it down to about right there and along right here you would have a nice storage area and the good thing about that storage area also is that it part of it could then become your laundry room so you're gonna have your door somewhere along right here and so you exit here from your kitchen or living room area exit here to go clear outside and in this area here you can have your washing machine if you so choose and your sink because of course being Jamaica you are going to have a, a hand washing sink somewhere outside and it is better to have it in an enclosed area because of course we know those times when it starts to rain and you can't go outside but you still need to do a little bit of washing so and of course anywhere in here is going to be your storage or say you you put some shelves in here you put your boxes in here so you plant some yams and bananas and whatnot you're going to need somewhere to store that sort of thing so here's a little storage area that you could add to, to the overall um, design of your building and again if you so choose having added that little storage area you could then add another just a second here you could then add another patio you could then add another patio somewhere along here to have a rear patio where you could um, you could have bar barbecue stick your um or some days you may want to just have a what we used to call a, 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 a tribute fireplace something like that put it somewhere here on your patio and you can roast your breadfruit up there even if the even if rain is falling or even if rain is not falling you may not want to go to the sun or make up a fire somewhere outside so you can just roast your breadfruit right here or whatever it is that you choose to do on uh, on an open fire and by the way um i do have uh i do have a video coming up uh, uh, on something called a rocket stove and that rocket stove is designed to be used it essentially uses wood and in a slightly different way so please look out for that video i'll be have i'll have that one up shortly so guys that was an overview of the l-shaped design a basic three bedroom two bathroom open concept design and with a small with a patio at the front and a patio at the back and a small storage space those are optional of course you can have the design without the patios and without the storage space but the basic design is pretty solid and it does afford a certain amount of it's a bit more aesthetic than your general box shaped house and so on and it does not take up any more space than what would have been a normal um, rectangular design 
So here you have it. Glad you like. Well, I hope you like it. And please do not forget to like the videos because that does help out my my channel. And also do not forget to subscribe to the video for those people who have been watching and who haven't subscribed. Remember, it's free and it doesn't take it. It it it's. It's no big deal for you and look if you don't want to subscribe I understand but it helps me out and it also ensures that whenever I put out new content you get notified also don't forget to hit the notification bell because when you do that what happens is that when my content comes out or i can send you notification that i will be having new content out that you can look for i may also be going live and if i have live events and so on you will be notified so don't forget to, to hit that notification bell as well so guys thanks for watching and hope you all have a great day